Good afternoon and happy Monday to all of your sunshiny faces. Guys, I was up early today considering that I had no reason to be up early. Um, not as early as I was over this weekend, but I was still up early. I woke up at like about 8.30ish or so. Um, maybe about 9 o'clock or something like that. Um, and then I ended up getting up out of bed at like... 9 30 or 10 o'clock so yeah not the best but like i told you guys i actually went to bed late last night so i was surprised that i even woke up then and i'm surprised that i even got out of bed like at 10 o'clock honestly and also because of like getting up like early yesterday and on saturday and i think friday too or something like that but i told you guys too i went to bed like late those days so again i woke up i thought considerably early especially because I went to bed late last night but it's still early so I'm going to take a shower early and I just need to take a real fast shower so um yeah I got um dishes done today I made dinner I ended up um actually making myself a like seven layer dip even though it doesn't have seven layers I don't even know how many layers it has in it but to be honest I don't like the lettuce layer and I'm not I don't like wasting a whole can of olives for the fact that like I don't use all of them in like I don't know it's like too olivey then um which I like olives but I just don't like adding that many to dip and then too it's like hard to scoop up like I think that's why I don't like lettuce and I don't like olives on a seven layer dip because they're too difficult to like scoop up so anyways though I ended up making that for myself um, because I actually don't, I finished my salad and I was like, well, I could make that, but my Tupperware is dirty. So I was like, well, I have to wait now. And so I want to cut up the cantaloupe and I have a honeydew melon and I have a pineapple. So I wanted to use the Tupperware for that. So I was like, okay, well then I can't make this for myself, my salad, um, which I'm going to, I think I'm going to try the avocado salad. It had like avocado and feta and I think chickpeas or something like that. So I'm going to try that one this week. Um, but yeah, so that's what I was going to have. And I was like, you know what? So I had some, um, I also ended up making, I had um, like mini uh, bell peppers, sweet bell peppers. And so I ended up making some like stuffed bell peppers. They're kind of like jalapeno poppers a little bit. Um, but obviously they're sweet bell peppers. So they're, they are not like spicy like jalapenos. Um, but I love those. So I had like a bunch of those, honestly, too, guys. But I have to limit myself because the thing is, I won't realize that I've like had that much. And then all of a sudden, I wind up with a horribly upset stomach because it is so much like it's cream cheese. Actually, it's a super easy recipe. I use like one bag. I think it's a pound of the sweet bell peppers. Um, and then the um, I use one package of softened cream cheese. Um, a little bit of garlic salt and then just some like cheddar cheese and then mix it all up and slap it inside of them. I cut them like half like lengthwise and I throw them in the oven for 350 for 20 minutes I think. But this time I, because the dinner that I was making cooked at 325 so I threw them in for like about I think it was like 25 or 30 between that like 30 minutes or so. Um, just so I could cook both at the same time. I didn't want to have to reheat the oven to 350 and then wait and then have those cook for another 20 minutes. So I just threw them in with the last 20 minutes of dinner and then everything was already at the same time and nice and warm. So, um, I did that and then I also made salad today and I did dishes. Actually, I think I'm going to wash. I didn't, um, I left soaking the, the tray from dinner tonight, which was just chicken wild rice, like casserole. Um, so I left that soaking and then I'm just going to add that um, to the dishwasher and I'll probably run it before I go to bed tonight. And um, I did, didn't get to laundry today because Matthew, again, take care of his laundry basket. I think I told you guys for like three days now. He was, honestly, it was kind of to do it on purpose because I know he's going to complain and be like, I don't have any sweatpants washer. I don't have this washer. I don't have that washed. And so I kind of did it on purpose. Did you hear me? Was I talking like Matthew? <laughs> he just woke up um but yeah I did it kind of on purpose just to like stick it to him to be like well you know what you don't want to take care of your basket then I'll get to you know you, you want to take your sweet time to take care of your basket and take care of your clothes then I'll take my sweet time with when I decide to do the laundry so yeah what could have I could have had the laundry all done 
but it's all sword and everything anyway so it's not that big of a deal but my point was more or less just like nobody else is running out of any clothes but he the thing is is that like he wants what he wants to wear that day and he wants it to be clean that day like he doesn't understand like he only has like three or four pairs of sweatpants but when he wears them three or four days in a row and then I don't do laundry three or four days you know like I or I might not get to washing those specific clothes or whatever um and so then he like flips out and he's like none of my sweatpants are clean and I'm like okay well that's not my fault that you wore them all you know three days straight and the thing is too though like today he ended up changing his clothes two or three times today he was wearing something different this morning when i saw him then he changed to go he went to uh volleyball practice i think it was from 10 to 12 today then he ended up going he came home for like two hours he went to the gym with his friends so that they could go i don't know if they were practicing volleyball or if they were just going to hang out or something like that but i know they're all talking about going up to the rec center and um they were going to go I don't know do something there go play basketball volleyball I don't know I don't even know if it was the kids from volleyball that he ended up going with but regardless he ended up going there he wore something different there I think he wore like shorts or something like that then he comes back home and he went to a bonfire over at his friend's house tonight so he was wearing something different then it's actually raining tonight so I think that um he like it's warmer out which is like nice it wasn't like super cold out today um, like I told you guys too, it's supposed to get warmer this week. But um, yeah, he ended up, like I said, changing again to go to the bonfire tonight. And then um, was probably wearing like something warmer. Um, because it only started raining like just a little bit ago. But regardless though guys. Yeah, he changed his clothes probably like three times today. And so I was like, okay, but then like honestly, if you're going to change your clothes three times a day and only wear those sweatpants for like, again, like today maybe is an exception because it probably smells like smoke from the bonfire. But like with the exception of that, if you're only going to wear it for like two or three hours one day, you can wear them again another day. Maybe don't wear them back to back days, especially if you're going to be seeing people that you saw that day. But is it really going to matter if like, you know, I wear a pair of sweatpants one day for, you know, like three hours before I go to bed and then, you know, end up changing in my pajamas. Then I, which I just wear shorts to bed, honestly. I don't even wear pajama pants anymore because I realize they get too hot in the middle of the night. And if I if I'm too cold, like, it's easier for me to put more layers on, like, add an extra blanket or whatever at night than it is for me to, like, be, like, super hot and, like, take off all of my blankets and then realize that I need to go and put shorts on because I'm still too hot. It shouldn't be that big of a deal, like I said, if you wear them for, like, three hours in the afternoon one day and then decide, like, you know, I'll wear them again tomorrow for the majority of the day or, you know, I'll wear them then maybe not the next day but the following day after that in case like you were out or somebody saw you in them and then they just think you did your laundry fast but you know like he can play honestly he wear he changes his outfit more than like anybody else in the house and yet he complains that he always has no clothes so I'm like yeah but you know and then at the same time too if you're dirtying all these extra clothes and you're switching your outfit like 12 times a day I have to do a lot more laundry and so like sometimes your stuff might not get in that load of laundry like you know what I mean so yeah I just I today I was like you know what forget it no laundry I'm not doing laundry but now that he emptied his basket I will do laundry tomorrow um maybe I'll throw in a quick load before I head to bed tonight I just have to dump whatever's in the basket into the washing machine so maybe I'll wind up doing that we'll see but um yeah I also too guys so I did dishes but I also edited two vlogs so I'm like happy that I'm kind of getting back on that but I will see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog if you guys did enjoy today's make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love if you'd subscribe and I'll see all of your sunshiny faces tomorrow so bye guys